<laughs> um, just doing a bit of a moisture test here, so we sort of stick the stick the screwdriver into the surface, see how long it takes to get hard. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> one off, the one and dead car, up on two wheels. Hey, what's up guys? Um, back for another race day vlog. We're at Ellesmere Speedway. Uh, it's looking pretty good. I think there's a bit of rain on the horizon later in the afternoon, uh, but hopefully we can get the meeting away. Uh, before that comes in we've got a screwdriver here doing a bit of a moisture test um sort of see if it can give us an indication of how long the surface will stay there before it slicks up like it usually does here uh but it's looking looking pretty good really bit of a short turnaround since uh went at rapuna last week but, um yeah so second round tom taylor memorial um i think we're fourth in the points we've got nine points behind the leader and it's done over all three races so big ask um, to come away with the win for this one we basically would have to win every race and the leader would have to maybe DNF a race so big ask but uh, we just aim to win the meeting and see where that gets us but yeah other than that we're all good to go team's back at the pit track is looking good um, and we'll just keep everyone updated with how we get on pressure um, and measuring them to see what we've got. And this is what we have to put up with. <laughs> Greymouth car, they'll start behind the field. So the first heat of the... No, they thought they were going, but they weren't going. Well, I'm not sure what's, uh, what's happened here. First uh, heat, which will be the fourth heat of the uh, Tom Taylor TQ Memorial. And as they get away this time, we'll see how they sort themselves out. It's 36, Scott Bailey gets into our Dunsandle first ahead of the 38, which is Aaron Finlay. Sitting in that third position, young Cameron Soul in the 99 car coming under a bit of pressure by 7 car of uh, Isabel Clark. Can Clark find a hole? Yes, this Logan Scammell's gone a wee bit wide, but he still holds it on to that third position as Clark looks to come through underneath. We go back to the 83 car of Blake Finlay. He leads a hungry pack there as nine. Ricky Brett looks to go around the outside. He makes some ground there. Gets on the top side and Scammell looks like he might move up a couple of spots. But it's Scott Bailey out in front from Aaron Finlay. Certainly stretching the lead in these early stages of this TQ race. And we've got one that spun out, and that may well be the nine. Leading the 38 of Aaron Finlay as they let them go. Isabel Clark having got herself up to that third position. She's been hounded pretty hard there by Tyler Warnock as he sits out wide and tries and comes through the Southbridge turn but it doesn't look like there's much available for the TQs at the stage out any further but he has just managed to get around to that third position so it's a Bailey Finlay or no it's not for the TQs at the stage out any further 
but he has just managed to get around to that third position, so it's Bailey Finlay, or no, it's not, it's Bailey Warnock Finlay. Clark and Jamie Booth in the 46 comes through into that uh, fifth position from Logan Scammell. The 83 car of Blake Finlay looking to go around on the access man car of uh, Bailey. Back there in third, we've got Finlay, Aaron Finlay, right there in it. So it's going to be a grandstand finish to this one by the looks of it. As uh, the access man car has just got his nose in front. Very hard man passes Scott Bailey. As uh, the wanted car there of um, car number 33. Tyler Warnock will not found that hole. He certainly has, but Bailey's fighting back on the outside, and Finley's right there just to uh, come up the inside on Bailey. So a great dice going between these three, and another one going between the car of uh, car number seven, which is Isabel Clark, and also Boothy. Boothy looks like he's snuck ahead of Isabel Clark. Check and flag. Oh, check and flag. And here we go. It's the Waterdeck car there of uh, car number 33. Uh, Memorial. They start to pick the pace up and the tag drops and uh, Jess Morris poked the nose through on the inside but Tyler Warnock's come down to take that over. Marty Knight's found a bit of drive. He's got up in that to second position. Morris in behind and out wide is Ethan Smith. They're still too wide as they've been jostling for the front position. 54 of Cohen Thompson. Now he's doing well in the ex uh, Jeremy Webb car. Are you a race leader? Tyler Warnock making no race of it at this stage from the 91 there of Ethan Smith. Marty Knight still in third but under pressure there from Jess Morris. Gap back to Boothy and then another gap back to the uh, nine car of uh, Ricky Pratt. Van car of uh, Bailey. Scott Bailey. Well, the white flag's out, and um, Tyler Warnock and the Wanadig machines having a, a good couple of weeks now with some good results. He leads them around. It will be Tyler Warnock who takes the win from the 91 of Ethan Smith. Oh, who's going to get that next one? It will be the 98 of Marty Knight from. <laughs> Second heat, we won that from 
separate one all we could do uh, they think the track might be coming back because the moisture's setting in I think, I think they're worried that it might rain or something like that so they're trying to pump through the program so we're probably going to leave the car as it is maybe make a few small changes we should be starting off the front row for the feature uh, so we've obviously won the first two and then we're off the front row for the feature so hopefully we can run away and win that as well uh, and if we do that i'm not sure we'll, where that will put us at the top table memorial but, um, if Aaron finishes third or something like that, we might be first equal. Uh, we had a, we had a bit of a deficit to make up going into the feature, so uh, we'll just try to win it from the front row, try our best, and see where we end up on the points after that. Um, chuck in some fuel in it, always hard at work, so we'll just give it a lash and keep doing it. Cameron Soul at the back of the field, and then our two young drivers. Oh, we're racing. Great start from Tyler Warlock. Boofy sits there in second place in the 46. Then back to um, Aaron Finley. And uh, one of the big chances in this one, the uh, access man car of Bailey, Scott Bailey. Around the outside of Scott Bailey is Ricky Pratt, the former New Zealand champion and TQ's uh, coming in to uh, play in this one in the um, Melrose Motorsport car up to third place already for Ricky Pratt of course, yeah. Ricky Pratt used to be an arch rival to uh, Ryan Stone a number of seasons ago the late Ryan Stone but fourth place it's still Scott Bailey then back to Boofy then Jess Morris holding a good sixth place. Look at uh, Bailey having a go at uh, Ricky Brett in the access man car. Yeah, he's got a good inside line there on Ricky Brett, but there's nothing much in it as they go side by side down the back straight into our South Bridger that turn. But Rick, uh, Brett's just got himself ahead a wee bit, but no one can get anywhere near the 33 of Tyler Warnock at this stage. That 38 car of uh, Aaron Finlay. Well, there goes Holding Bailey. that second, but uh, now Bailey's got it. Oh, a weak touch-up with Brett, and there's a weak tipple over. And uh, I think that was Marty Knight that uh, had... Grumpy about that one. Yes, yeah, it's a, a good race into that turn, and a little bit of contact made between them as uh, Bailey came through on the inside. And then uh, it was Marty Knight, wasn't it, I think, yeah, that, that came in there. Although you'd, you'd have to think that'd be a racing incident, would it not, Warwick? Some laps in there. It looks like we're going to go racing once again. And watch the jump. It's going to be oh so crucial. It's a wanted a car into turns one and two. Tyler Warnock, your race leader. Look for, from the outside from Scott Bailey in the access man car. He's got a fair bit of momentum down the back straight. Into turns three and four they go. Scott Bailey, look at him go around the outside of Finley. Can't quite make it stick though. Finley pushes him wide. But uh, Scott Bailey... He's got the momentum on the high line. But your race leader is the Wanadig car there of Tyler Warnock. Scott Bailey try, still trying to get past Aaron Finley. Round the outside he goes. Boofy's right there in fifth. And coming through the field is the 91 car of Ethan Smith. Yeah, Ethan Smith made a mood move. He was watching Bailey. And Bailey's still putting the pressure on. He hasn't made it uh, complete yet in behind Warnock. But uh, Smith did so. And he's moved up into that fourth position. Now Bailey's put his sights on the front of the pack and he's gone round the top side of Tyler Warnock. Just got a little bit wide and the marbles out on the top side there. But he's holding that second position. Now he's right on his tail. But Finlay's fighting back on the inside and quickly behind them there's the 91 of Ethan Smith coming into it. Oh, Tyler Warnock's just slipped out there, made a mistake. Bailey's jumped and gone to the front of the field. And he leads them round as the winner. Uh, Tyler Warnock just slipped out there, made a mistake. Bailey's jumped and gone to the front of the field. And he leads them round as the weather starts to turn here at Ellesmere. Down that uh, straight they go. Now Aaron Finlay has a little nibble. It's Bailey as Bailey moves up and takes a wide line. 
Warnock's recovered himself to hit back into that third position and he closes up on the front runners. Then we go back to Ethan Smith. In behind them is the 46 of Jamie Booth, Cohen Thompson, the 47 of Jess Morris, then uh, Blake Finlay, Malachi Webb, Cameron Soul and Isabel Clark. But there's still a real battle going on at the front of the field. Scott Bailey is just doing the business out at the top end. Tyler Warlock coming back into this one. Yeah, Scott Bailey just chasing a little bit of dirt that might be up higher on the track there. Here comes Warnock. He's moved round. They got round Aaron Finlay. He's got two laps to go. Can he get up to the front again? So out of the CJ Phillips turn, down that back straight. Oh, Warnock picks some pace up as he enters the turn. He's closed up a little as the white flag comes out on Bailey. Oh, this is a ding-dong battle. It's going to go down to the wire. We've got Al, uh, Scott Bailey in the access man car, but the one of the car of Warnock comes up the inside. He's got it by the looks of it. Tyler Warnock, what a beauty. Comes through and wins the uh, Tom Taylor race. Feature race here at Ellesmere, second place to Scott Bailey, third place to Aaron Finlay in the 38 car, then back to the 91 of Ethan Smith, third place, an amazing drive from uh, Cohen uh, Thompson. Thompson, then we move back to Jess Morris. Uh, right, so the feature, um, we top qualified, uh, we got the start and we're just running the bottom. We had the steering box seize up a wee bit so it was sort of locking in, in place and it was hard to um, it was hard to sort of modulate the steering throughout the turns so you might, you might be able to see that on the GoPro footage, it was a bit tricky. Um, so we went very quick down the bottom because of that and we had a car drive around the outside so I thought we'd better hustle and just send it around the outside and we made up some ground steering box seized up again, we got tight, lost a bit of ground, managed to drive back and make a pass for the win on the last lap. Um, bit of a 50-50 move and we ended up getting relegated, relegated for that so um, it is what it is, you know we're here to race not sort of play tiddlywinks but um, we got relegated for that and that put us first equal on points so I'm not, we're not sure how they're going to do it yet. Oh you first Hopefully, equal on points? Yeah we're first equal on points, oh, yeah. Um, so if they didn't relegate us we would have won that but uh, that's, that's the official's call, pretty close, well, there you go. but it's what it is. Um, so we just see what they do for, to see who they give the victory to, and um, we'll go from there. Yeah, um, pretty happy, first equal, sort of feels like a second. Um, Scott's done a great job, Aaron's done, Aaron's done a great job over the both, both rounds. Um, yeah, a little bit, little bit frustrating for that last one, but you know, that's, that's racing and uh, what, what can you do? So yeah, well done to Aaron, well done to Scott. Um, massive thanks to all my sponsors. We've got BEC Fabrication here. Um, Keep pop guys, so any fabrication you need, make sure you hit up Ryan. Um, Want to do four tents, more hooks for electrical, floor and warehouse, mortgage drills, auto target interior liners, on demand rentals, race for 7 8 marketing, everyone that uh, helps us team out. A massive, massive effort, so massive thanks to those guys and um, thanks to Azmi for putting on a great, great finale. <laughs> um, so we've just been out for just been out for brunch with Will and Taylor from Will Putra Electrical. Always good to see those guys. Um, we just thought we'd do a bit of a bit of an update on how the whole dilemma at Ellesmere went yesterday. So we ended up first equal with Scott Bailey after being relegated uh, one spot in that feature. Um, so first equal overall is is pretty cool, I suppose. Um, it would have been good if we could have had like a runoff or something like that, uh, but it was raining. But I mean, Scott and Aaron, they've done a great job over those two rounds. So they're uh, deserving for their podium finishes. and. Um, yeah, you know, sort of all we could do. We almost had to sweep there, one of those two heats, um, and then just sort of had the steering box seize up and that feature, which made life a wee bit difficult. But um, yeah, overall, really happy. The car's showing some good pace. Um, 
we're just gonna shoot home and then we're gonna go prep the car for uh, Rapuna next weekend, which is the 17th of Feb, I think. Um, so yeah, we'll just we'll just keep digging away. Hopefully we can make the, the Grand Prix in Napier the weekend after that. Um, so we're just hoping we can get a good motor back for that if we're gonna travel all that way. So um, overall, yeah, another first place equal finish. Happy with that and um, stay tuned for the next vlog. <laughs>